Group Hollywood Shono Gaming for the latest gaming needs. Also check out my Twitch at Hollywood Shono and my Hollywood Shono YouTube live streams for all premieres of past live streams on Twitch. All right, so as you guys can see here, we are trying to install Windows 10 on a Windows 11 ROG Ally, and we're gonna go and hit next. Now, there's a couple things I don't like about Windows 11. First off, when you right click, it has the shortened thing and you have to actually click a button. This is annoying, having to hit show more options. And I know there's ways you can get around that, but why is this a thing? Why is that a thing at all? It shouldn't be. So we're gonna see if we can put Windows 10 on the ROG Ally. And again, there's a few reasons why I wanna do that. There's certain things that don't work on Windows 11. I really don't give a shit about Android because you can just use BlueStacks to emulate Android. All the apps that work on Windows 10 also work on Windows 11. So why change it? Why do we have to have a skewed out home bar? Where is my damn command center? This is not a command center. I like the other screen better on Windows 10 and you can't change that. So I am upgrading my ROG Ally to Windows 10 and if worse comes to worse we just format the drive use cloud recovery and boom we're back on Windows 11. But I want to see if this is even possible because there are no guides anywhere on Windows 10. Now I am currently hooked into my Steam Deck dock to film this footage here and so far everything is looking good. So we're trying to install Windows 10 right now. Now, do you need to put Windows 10 on this? No, but I love Windows 10 on my devices. So we're gonna install Windows Home and keep nothing. So we're gonna install. Now, one thing to keep in mind, once you're in this part of it, you're gonna have to wireless hook up a mouse and keyboard. You can't do wireless on this. You're gonna have to actually connect everything. And sometimes you might have to directly connect devices to it. Now, if it's a keyboard, you can still hook it up into the ROG Ally, but you're gonna have to do it within an actual USB-C port, you're not going to be able to hook it up into docks. So we're going to install Windows 10 on this ROG Ally, and we're going to fast forward through this installation process, and we will go there. So we are keeping nothing on this ROG Ally because there's nothing worth keeping. Now, if Armory Crate breaks, I don't really care. If the UI doesn't work, again, I don't really care. I just want Windows 10 on here, and we can eventually map stuff out. I imagine Windows 11 is probably still the more optimized experience for your ROG Ally, but what if Windows 10 does work. What if Windows 10 is a reality and you can actually use this with Windows 10? I know that the Ally comes default with Windows 11. I don't like Windows 11. I like Windows 10. So while I might be making a big risk by doing this, you never know until you try. And again, the worst thing that I could do is just format the hard drive and put Windows 11 back on it. But we're going to try this and we're going to speed this up so you're not going to see this 4% complete. And when we get back to the next thing of importance, we will get back to you. All right, so after a few minutes of installing updates for Windows 10 and installing Windows, now we can actually get it back on OBS and you guys can actually see what's going on. So I went through the whole process of downloading and installing Windows. I do have this on a flash drive. Granted, it's an older version of Windows, which means I'm gonna have to plug in and try to get it running that way. But the good thing is, so far it looks like Windows 10 is successfully running. And guess what? If I have to double click everything, I don't really care. I'm so used to it on Windows 10. I don't want to have to single click shit. It actually feels weird, and it feels like I'm gonna misclick stuff all the time. So I'd rather have Windows 10 on here. All right, so once again, the Ally is booting up on the desktop. Nothing actually on the screen because it's still doing updates. But if I can get Windows 10 and everything working on the ROG Ally, this is gonna encourage a lot more people to do it. Cause let's face it, Windows 11 sucks. And there, back on the screen it goes, saying installing Windows 75%. Don't turn off your PC, this may take a while. So we are still installing Windows 10 on here, and when we get through more updates, we'll keep you posted. All right, so once again, we are currently trying to install Windows 10 on the ROG Ally. And the main thing I'm curious about is what's actually gonna work on here and what's not going to work. Because if we can get Armory Crate, Command Center, and My Asus all up and running, this is gonna be a massive success. But if My Asus and even Armory Crate don't fully work, that means we can't fully update the ROG Ally, which would be a massive fail. And we need those components to work, and we're gonna try to make them work on Windows 10. But this whole process is gonna take several minutes. I'm gonna again speed through this, so you guys don't have to watch all of this. Okay, so now we have Windows 10 installed on the ROG Ally. So the main thing I'm curious about is how annoying is this going to be to set up? Obviously, the touch still works on the ROG Ally, and right keyboard layout is US, and we do not want to add a second layout. 
Luckily, the touch does work on this, and we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi. The great sign is that the keyboard still pops out, so we don't actually have to hook up a keyboard, but I do have a mouse connected just in case. As you can see, the mouse is working, and I am using the Steam Deck dock to set this up. The Steam Deck dock does not hold the ROG Ally that comfortably, but it's the easiest thing that I could use, and it does prop it up. I could also just use the ROG Ally stand, but that thing is just cardboard, and I really don't want to reduce the stability over time. So I'm just going to use a Steam Deck dock for this. Now we have some important setup to do, as this is saying. Now again, this is an older version of Windows 10. I don't know exactly how to put the three apps that I mentioned on here, but if all three apps do somehow get installed, either through the ROG website or through a third party, Windows 10 on the ROG Ally is a thing. Now some of you guys are saying, why would you want to use Windows 10 when Windows 11 is more optimized? I don't like Windows 11. I really don't. I have it on my Galaxy Book Ultra and it sucks. I had to do so much tweaking to get it looking like Windows 10. And that command center on the bottom right for Windows 10 is one of the best things ever that they shouldn't have gotten rid of. Okay, and we can set up the fingerprint sensor. So it is actually working, a fingerprint sensor. Okay, it is filled in. There we go. Finally got it. I do have a mouse hooked up, but I do not have a keyboard set up. I don't like advertising. I don't like diagnostic data at all. Uh, location is good. Find your device. Inking is also good. But anything involving advertising, no. And we can skip that. I don't really care. We just need to get a few more things polished out for you, and Windows will be good. So we have Windows 10 on the ROG Ally, and we're getting everything ready for you. And this might take several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. All right, so we have booted into Windows 10. Now, the thing that's going to be interesting is, are the Asus apps on there? The AMD software is. A bunch of bloat is on here, too. Now, I don't see Armory Crate. And when I hit the button on Command Center, it does not work. So I don't know if I have to install the software for it or if we're just out of luck. But Windows 10 does successfully install on the ROG Ally. There's a lot of things that I am going to have to clean up on this. So I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes once I've done that. All right, so I was able to download the My Asus app. And it has a couple updates that are available. ROG Screen Manager and the firmware update tool. Now, one thing I did notice is that the RC71 will be disabled for a few minutes during the update. Please keep your device plugged into a power source and do not turn it off until the update process is complete. Now, this is a fresh installation of Windows 10. One thing I did notice is that all of my stuff that was not related to Steam was actually transferred over when I put Windows 10 on here. So you are gonna have to reinstall everything if you wanna be able to uninstall it. So that's gonna be a small bit of downloading you're gonna have to do, but they are still on the system. So one minor annoyance, you might wanna completely wipe the drive, but then again, if you're not wiping the drive, it might save some valuable information. So you probably wanna just install Windows 10 and then delete stuff manually. And I'm gonna show you guys really quick exactly what I'm talking about. So we're in the desktop. Actually, let's go to this PC. And let's go to ROG Ally. So you can see 1.47 terabytes out of 1.81. If we go to the game section, all the Battle.net games and all the games from GOG did not get deleted. And even Player and Play for Raid Shadow Legends did not get deleted. If we go into Applications, you can see 7-Zip is still here. Blue Stacks is still here. Classic Paint, which is irrelevant with Windows 10. Epic Games, GOG Galaxy, MSI Afterburner, OBS. All the stuff that I downloaded on my ROG Ally when I was on Windows 11, is still here. Now, whether it works is beyond me. Uh, we'll find all that out before I actually get rid of this stuff. But yeah, this is the ROG Ally, and a lot of the stuff was still saved on here, but anything related to Steam got deleted. Now, I never like when they keep Windows old, because that could be like, if you restore back to Windows 11, it keeps the stuff. But we'll see. If certain things don't work, then we'll get rid of it. All right, so the RC71 is updating, and this is gonna be pretty significant because this is gonna determine whether we can use Armory Crate and all the other features. Now you can see Armory Crate and my Asus did get put into the taskbar down here, so this is a really good sign, although both of the apps are actually open at this time. But yes, there is an Armory Crate installer, and it is unzipping the installation package, so we are trying to put Armory Crate on here, and we are updating the RC71. So we're doing both of those updates, and as soon as we get them all updated, we'll be back with some more. Okay, so for the firmware update tool, that is updated. And the screen manager will update when you restart your computer. There are other Windows updates to do. So this prevents the screen off while unplugging the adapter. So I don't know what other updates there actually are. 
Uh, BIOS updates 322. Now the BIOS is still updated. So this has the correct BIOS. Now there were four things in live update and I'm kind of curious what they are. So I'm gonna have to look at some videos on that. I wanna try to get this updated before I actually restart my computer. So soon we fully update it, we'll restart the computer. All right, so here you guys can also see the information on the ROG Ally that we are on Windows 10 Home. And we're using the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme with the Radeon graphics. And we also have a two terabyte Sabrent card in here. All right, so after some tinkering with the wrong armory crate, I actually went to the driver and tool section of the armory crate and I found one that was compatible with Windows 10. So we're currently installing this version of armory crate and hopefully it will work with the ROG Ally on Windows 10. If we can get it working, then everything should work fine in Windows 10. We do have my ASUS working just fine. All right, so we're preparing the installation. This time it looks like it's working because I think we had the wrong version of Armory Crate before. But if you find this one right here, it actually looks like it works. So let's let everything install and we'll come back once it's all ready. All right, so now it's saying we're initializing the core services and components. Please wait a moment, reopen the app. And there we go. Armory Crate is installed on Windows 10. So you gotta scroll down, hit I agree. Man, run it at system startup and boom. Armory Crate successful on Windows 10. And there we go. So now we wanna go and check out, and our sync does work again. We got that up and running. And all the services are working as planned. Let's make sure there are no updates. So we're gonna check updates. It looks like I had one because something did have an update button. But we're gonna search for everything anyways. All right, so there are updates to Armory Crate and Config. So we're gonna be doing all of these updates now. And completion to complete the process. So we're gonna do that. It says not compatible. Well, we got other stuff working. So it is installing other updates. So one of the things did tell us that it was not compatible, but it looks like everything else is. So I don't know if it's something that's actually important or necessary. If it's the buttons on the ally, we will try. Okay, so we're currently installing the armory crate. All right, so installation completed. Let's relaunch it. And you can see there are still updates for the RC71L, the game SDK service. So all these have to download. Our service and lighting effect add-ons are up to date. So you are gonna have to do some firmware updates in Command Center for Armory Crate. All right, do the buttons work? Yes, we do have buttons that actually work. So that's great. So now the buttons actually work. And we just close the button up. That is beautiful. The buttons work. Now, does the mouse actually, yes it does. So the mouse portion actually works. Beautiful. So everything's working just like in Windows 11, and we did not have any issues with that. Now obviously you have to use a mouse to right scroll, because you can't do it with the joysticks, but everything appears to be working fine. So Windows 10 ROG Ally confirmed to work. I don't know why there's no YouTube videos on this, it seems to work perfectly fine for me. Okay, so it has been three days since I actually set up Windows 10 on my ROG Ally, and there's quite a bit more stuff that I actually have on here. So you can see by a lot of the apps, I have Amazon Games, I have Battle.net, I have Disney Plus, I have a bunch of stuff installed on here. And obviously a couple things like maps, you can't get rid of for some dumb reason. I'm gonna show you guys what the armory crate looks like. Let's take the FPS counter off. Don't need the real-time monitor at the moment. So we can also sort by A to Z. Now for some reason on Windows 10, you can't actually see the number of games on here. I do really wanna get a launcher other than armory crate that would actually show all these things. Armory crate confirmed to work somewhat. A little sloppy in some areas, and you can see the game platforms are installed. Now, Armory Crate for Windows 10 is not as clean as the Armory Crate in Windows 11, but the shoulder buttons do work. I wish it had a tally of total games on here, but Armory Crate officially works. So we're going to close that out. 
we are going to open up my ASUS. And we're going to show you guys what that looks like. So the system is up to date. So all the essential updates are completed and latest for optional releases. But all it does is show the BIOS, but it shows the device is up to date. So I don't know if there's actual drivers that you need for Windows 10. If somebody's done this before, please let me know. But my ASUS is confirmed to work. And a lot of other things work just fine. One of the things I really like is that in the display settings, you can have it at 720p and you can even have it at 1080p. It took a minute to load back up on my OBS. However, there you can see the 1080p loaded and launching games is no problem at all. So we don't have any problem with that as long as I click the right button. And if you don't like to click the button, you can always just click on Battle.net or use the right analog stick to move stuff. So here we can launch Diablo 4 and everything just runs, no problem. So I'm going to really quickly show you guys what things look like by moving the controller. So we're going to log into Battle.net right now. And as you guys can see on the top left corner, Discord is working perfectly fine as well. And there you go, you can scroll down on the characters. And everything just works. So we're going to go into our Tier 3 Seasonal character. I'm not going to be in this too long. I really hate the Epic Games launcher pop-ups. I really you can just not have that show up. But that also works. So here you can see the resolution of the game. It is currently 1080p. So now we're going to change it to 720p, and my OBS is going to show no signal. And we're going to go into options, and boom, 720p. Now when I initially did this, I had to actually go into the desktop and change it. However, since I've run it, it actually changes the resolution without having to go out of game. And the real-time monitor works just fine, no issues at all. Even the wattage is working good now that I set a fan curve. And it is going up to 46, 48 watts. I've even had it go up to 50 watts before. And it's great when everything just works right out of the box. So 72 FPS would assume that we're probably on like medium settings. And let's see if I'm right on that. Nope, we are on low settings. So maybe I'm just in a busy area with the rain. But yeah. Everything on Diablo 4 works just fine. And that's going to conclude my ROG Ally test on Windows 10 that everything just works. Everything is good. So we're going to take the monitor off. Once again, our command, our action center works just fine. None of the Windows 10 garbage that's on the system. Obviously, there's little icons right here. I don't have Outlook, Word, Excel, Skype, PowerPoint. I don't have LinkedIn. I don't know why some of this stuff installs. But nonetheless, the ROG Ally is successfully on Windows 10. So if you like this video on the ROG Ally successfully running Windows 10, as well as testing out various things, including my ASUS, the Command Center, and Diablo 4, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other ROG Ally videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Channel, my Instagram, which is Hollywood Channel Knows God, and I really cannot wait for Mortal Kombat 1, September 14th. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show Now. Subscribe, bitches! I'm better than you, and you know it.